Hi guys, Adam here with the studio. Uh, place looks like a bum's hit it, but uh, halfway through doing the painting, the uh, the roof is covered in Christmas paper because it's been painted. The uh, stripes down the fin have also been painted, uh, and uh, yeah, I've done as you know the the boot and the uh, engine bay, engine bay had a few little uh, runs and uh, also a couple of places that were thin so that'll get another coat this was painted but I've uh, wet sanded it down everything else has been wet sanded it's all ready to go um, I've decided to go with a, a gentle curve like this for the uh, the cutoff point between the roof and the orange so um yeah Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, studio. Uh, as you can see, the car is uh, painted. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. You can see a nice, nice reflection. Um, yeah, it all went pretty smoothly. I painted the whole car. Uh, I tried to give it three coats, three sort of wet coats, um, you know, give, leaving it 15 minutes before each coat. Uh, and it looked like it was good. As it dried, I saw there's some, some thin areas. So I decided to give the whole car uh, a light uh, wet, wet, uh, wet sand with 800. I didn't go very heavy. I just took the surface off and also any little nibs, any little bits of dust that had fallen in. Um, so I went over the whole car uh, fairly quickly. And then that meant that the, uh, the whole car could just have one sort of light coat. And I actually found that a really good way to do it, particularly when I was doing it um, fairly much uh, outside. Uh, half undercover, but uh, but sort of open. So um, what I ended up doing is, uh, yeah, uh, gave the whole car a fairly good coat. Most of it was covered really well. Uh, gave it a, a good um, uh, sand and then uh, repainted it, just a, just a light, uh, a light coat. So you can see there's a little bit of orange peel in there. This part up here, I obviously didn't uh, paint its stickers down further, which is a bit smoother. You have a bit of orange peel in there, but uh, that will uh, either buff or a light uh, wet sand, color, color sand will take that out. But really, I'm pretty happy. Um, there was a couple of minor issues, but uh, you can see along here looks good. The fins look good. It's a nice sheen on there. There's a little bit of dust and a little bit of particles in there, but it's very superficial. It will be able to be sanded or buffed. So, um, yeah, that's good. Unfortunately, when I did uh, the whole car together, there was one door, which was this door, that hadn't uh, hadn't been painted at all, just just the, the front of it. So I tried to give that three good coats. Unfortunately, the, um, the nozzle of the air gun fell off fell into the paint I don't know if you can see but uh, I tried to give it a thick coat to, to fix it up um, but that's gonna need a little bit more work um, but the most exciting part this this again the uh, the bonnet this looked really good um, but uh, there was a big hair it's not my hair because my hair is short <laughs> but there was a big hair sitting right in the middle um, and then uh, some dirt got in while it was uh, wet up here so again I gave that a um, a gentle sand down and uh, gave it a light coat and I think you can see it's uh, it's pretty good see it's nice and particularly along the edge here it's really smooth so um, yeah I'm really happy I'm happy with how it's turned out uh, it's not perfect I wasn't expecting to be perfect this is about as good as I could possibly hope it was gonna be um, again my first time and doing Two pack uh, urethane without being in a booth. I had to wait for a nice uh, still day. We've had lots and lots and lots of wind recently, um, and uh, this was the stillest day we've had. There's still a little bit of a breeze. But the most exciting part. Now you can see the uh, the ivory. So this is an ivory stripe. There's two pieces of. Uh, uh, bright work that go along there either side of that so it sort of stands it out well um, I haven't taken the whole roof off because I think I'll need to do a, 
Um, this was the other part. Unfortunately, uh, a little bit of run there, and that's that was a little bit thin through there. I'd, I'd wet sanded that back a little bit too much. So I tried to cover it and I made a mistake. So that's the only place um, that there's sort of some some run. And that was about being uh, a little bit over over enthusiastic trying to cover it in one uh, one go, just one little run along there. But that's good. Um, that'll that'll just have a quick little sand, and I'll just uh, I'll I'll um, put a piece of masking tape along there and just uh, just repaint the bottom part there. This this also separates uh, with a piece of bright work along there, so it's an easy place to draw off. I'll just uh, paint the bottom. So yeah, you can see the, uh, I don't know how, how well the, we're also under a, a fluoro light, which you'll see probably flickering. Um, so I'm not sure how good the colour comes up on, uh, on film. But uh, yeah, it's basically a, a saffron and an ivory. It looks white, but if you, put, uh, if you put white up against it, you'll see it's really not white at all. So, yeah, I'm happy with the colours. I'm happy with how they look together. I'm very happy with the uh, my first paint job. Places like along here, there's a join uh, along along here. You really can't see that at all. All my uh, fill in where I've joined the fin, that's just reflection along there. But uh, you can see there's a nice, nice uh, shiny, fairly seamless sort of line along there. So yeah. That's the exciting part with the studio. Um, all looks good. Uh, some of it really almost doesn't need any uh, any wet sanding. Um, there's there's some areas a tiny little bit flat, probably because I put it on a little bit dry at the end, uh, and a little tiny bit of orange peel. But yeah, look, I'm really happy. It's come up well. A little bit of extra work. Uh, some. Polishing, sanding, buffing will make this really, really, really good. It's certainly going to be a lot better than what it was. And it's certainly going to be, um, be good for the next couple of decades, I hope. I uh, spent a lot of time mucking around with these lovely leather seats from the Mercedes. And I really came to the uh, point where I realised that they weren't going to work. Um, partly because these were really narrow uh, for a 60s American car and there was just so much room um, between the uh, what would be the door sill and where the, uh, the seat started and then a huge gap in between them as well um, and also fitting them was uh, particularly the back seat making it fit well but what I realized is I really liked the original interior I really didn't like the color so what I actually did is I tested some uh, vinyl paint and um, I did a little test. I, I, I waited several days for it to go off and uh, I scratched it as hard as I could. And I, I tore the vinyl before I scratched the, uh, the, um, the dye off. And so uh, I decided I would have a go at painting the seats. These are the original seats out of the Studebaker and um, they've come up really well. There was a couple of small imperfections. Uh, I... Um, I haven't decided. I might even just cheat and, and put a couple of little black lines in there uh, or get someone to just re-stitch that a little bit for me. But um, the original seats were fairly good. There's a small uh, problem down here, but uh, they look much better. Of course, they fit better. And given that new um, lease of life, when you have a quick look, uh, they, they sort of look really good. So right now, I'm about to a coat on this is the last seat uh, to be painted this is the bottom of the the rear seat and um, uh, yeah you know being a, a back seat it's in great condition and uh, the vinyl is in pretty good condition as well the the front seats had been um, uh, there'd been new foam put in this has still got the original uh, cotton candy sort of stuff uh, fluff um, but it's in really good condition. There's no real rips or tears and of course the back seat doesn't get used very much So yeah, I spent quite a lot of time and Effort trying two lots of Mercedes seats the original ones I got for free and the, uh, the more more modern ones um, these ones and uh, They are lovely seats 
but it took me quite a while of mucking around to realize it really wasn't gonna be as good as what the original seats look like. So um, I'm going to uh, be redoing these panels, redoing the wood, um, or the sort of, I'm using sort of MDF sort of stuff, uh, recutting re the wood, and then I will use these original panels. These, these panels also are really in basically pretty good condition. Um, it's, uh, is the, yeah, that's where the handle is and that'll still be back on. That's um, next to the rear back seat. Uh, so window up here and this little uh, armrest there for the back seat. So I've already done a test uh, painting this. This was, you know, one of these was the first thing I tried uh, painting and that uh, actually looked really good. So I can use that stuff to paint. See, this is the bottom of the door. Um, there's a, a strip of the carpet. Uh, this stuff can be used for painting carpet as well, apparently. So, at the moment, I won't paint the carpet. I've made lots of changes as, as the uh, project's gone along, so I might go back and paint that later. But uh, yeah, that's what's happening. This is a piece that I painted. Uh, it's a little bit rough, and also it's a little bit dirty. I just need to clean. But I, um, I gave that a, a coat. Uh, this is inside the boot. So this is the um, the back the back seat, if that makes sense. The part that you can see in uh, between the metal structure and the back of the boot. So um, yeah, that's been cleaned up and that that looks okay. But really happy with how those seats came up. Um, as I said, there's a couple of minor things that can be fixed, uh, and of course later down the track I might get a whole new interior and get the seats properly um, uh, restored and put a, a new interior. Uh, made for a studio baker but for the time being I'm actually really happy how they've turned out so uh, that's what's happening as far as the interior goes